Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from weartesters.com. What seems to be the LeBron 15 leaked a little bit early. I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on them real quick, at least from a performance perspective. I know that a lot of people are just trashing the shoe just based off of looks. I don't give a fuck how they look. It's a basketball sneaker. I care how they perform. So with that being said, let's go ahead, get right into it. While we're eating. Now the tech specs are currently unknown as far as the official branding of each item. Now there are rumors that they feature what, what they're calling battle knit as far as the upper is concerned, which is a weird name, but <laughs> you know, that's cool. So if that is the actual name, I feel like battle knit's just gonna be a beefier version of fly knit. Essentially it's a one piece upper, kind of looks like a dragon, reminds me a lot of the Kobe line. However, I feel like that upper is specifically engineered for a large athlete that puts a lot of torque and weight on their sneaker, such as LeBron James. Traditionally when LeBron has used softer materials like on the LeBron 12, they tend to be reinforced with something, whether it be strap overlays, suede nubucks or leathers, or in the case of the LeBron 12, a posit panel. So it could be something built in, or it could just be, like I said, a re-engineered knit upper that is strong enough for an athlete of LeBron size and stature. Now the tongue and collar area look very familiar. We've seen this used on the Nike KD10, so I feel like that area is going to be really smooth to get into. It's going to offer a lot of stretch should be really comfortable on foot. I am worried a little bit of the overall fit and lockdown. If you don't get that perfect one-to-one -one fit, I feel like it could end up being sort of a sloppy fitting sneaker, but hopefully they fit really nicely. Hopefully the lacing structure really locks you in. I'm hoping that there's something internal that you can't see built into the shoe that sort of keeps your foot on the footbed. But of course we won't know until we actually get a pair and then try them out. Now my favorite aspect of the shoe right now that I'm extremely excited about trying is the cushion. That cushion looks awesome. A lot of people are like, yo, they're taking in the cushion from the KD9 and moving it over to the LeBron. I'm like, no, 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 hold up a second, bro. They actually debuted Max Zoom cushion on the LeBron 10, and then they featured it on the KD line right after that with the KD6 Elite. So this started on the LeBron line itself. It just wasn't perfected yet. KD liked the cushion so much that they just kind of kept using it and fine tuning it, which is what they did with the KD7 in the heel. They tried something slightly new in the KD8 with a thinner full length articulated zoom bag, but then went right back to Max Zoom for the KD9 KD9 and then again for the KD10. So I feel like with LeBron, it probably wasn't perfect enough for him in the LeBron 10 to then keep using it in the LeBron 11, 12, 13, etc. until they fine tuned it enough to then put it back on his sneaker for what is being called the LeBron 15. Now the max zoom units look articulated. We don't know if they are connected, but they are definitely articulated. Articulation is a component of the cushion that allows the cushion to not be restricted or stiff. So it allows movement, which is what this setup looks like it's doing. Now something that I've always experienced with with these larger units is some slight instability in the four foot lateral area, mainly where there would normally be an outrigger. It looks like they've actually addressed that issue by extending the phylon wrap around that section, which I feel is a really good move because that is literally the spot where I'll sometimes come down on a rebound or a shot and I'll hit the toe of my forefoot and then roll back into the platform of the sneaker. And sometimes upon that landing, that's all of my weight plus gravity, will compress those bags enough to where it'll like tip me a little bit and I'll be like, yo, <laughs> that, that could have been dangerous. So I feel like them addressing the issue by essentially just covering that area up is a smart move. It creates a lot of stability in that section, but you still have all that cushion underneath it, which I think is great. Longevity of these zoom units is something that I'm curious about. I have not actually heard any negative reviews on the KD10's zoom unit popping. So I don't know if that's no longer an issue, like if Nike truly did address it or if it's just a small issue so you're not hearing it be as widespread now. So it'll be very interesting to see see if this zoom unit actually holds up. I'm assuming that this has been a long time coming though, so I'm pretty sure that Nike's R&D department and wear test department have been testing the shit out of this stuff, so I'm expecting it to be really nice right from the jump. You can't see the traction other than it slightly poking out from the outsole just a bit, so I can't really give too much you know, thoughts on that. From what we can see, it looks awesome, but we don't know what the main section of the shoe is underneath the platform of the foot. For all we know, that could be flat and smooth. I mean, we just don't know, but from what we can see, poking out. It looks promising. So that's pretty much my thoughts so far based on what we can see with some really shitty images. I think that the shoe looks great from a performance perspective. Would I wear these casually? Probably not. They're a little bulky for me. If I'm wearing anything bulky, I'm going 90s or I'm going up tempo. However, colorways can really make or break a shoe. All you need is to see these guys in one particular colorway that catches your eye and that's it. So I wouldn't say for certain that I would never wear these off court, especially if they're super comfortable. It's just in this particular colorway, not really feeling them. So those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts 
thoughts down below in the comment section. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up button as well if you like the video. I will be doing a performance review on this shoe as I do with the LeBron line pretty much every year. I'm really hoping that these perform really well. They look very promising, like just the cushion alone makes me super excited. And it'll be interesting to see what the upcoming Soldier offers, if it'll be something similar to this or more of the traditional Zoom setup. Let me know your thoughts on that as well. Thank you so much for watching once again, and until next time guys, have a good one.